good morning it is friday morning and i just got up and i made myself a cup of coffee because i'm actually going into the office today so normally i work from home on a friday but today i'm going into the office so i had to get up a little bit earlier this morning and it's also very cold so i am not sure what i want to wear but I need to wear something nice and cozy and warm because it's really cold. Yesterday it was raining almost the whole day, like light rain. So I don't think it's raining today, but it's definitely cold. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and get dressed and then just like do my makeup. I always do my makeup after I get dressed. I know a lot of people don't do it that way, but normally I I don't know i prefer getting dressed first and then i do my makeup especially if i'm wearing like a polo neck situation then i have to put that on before i start my makeup otherwise the makeup goes all over my clothes so yeah anyway that's kind of the gist of it i thought i'll film today like a work day in my life going to the office and stuff and then tonight as you know i'm not that wild on weekends so i thought tonight i want to do a little bit of like self-care so i need to paint my nails again because it's already chipped from last week and then i want to just do my brows maybe do a mask on my face and maybe do some self tanner as well like stuff like that so that's what i'm thinking of doing tonight when i get home from from work and yeah i also think i'm gonna make us some bacon macaroni and cheese i think so i just need to remember to ask jason to take out some bacon to tea frost but yeah that's kind of the plan for today so i'm gonna drink my coffee and let's get ready to go to the office i washed my hair last night so I just want to comb it out. I air dry my hair so I don't like blow dry and like styles my hair when I wash it. So it always needs a good comb out in the morning. I'm still on my same hair journey trying to figure out like how I'm going to get my hair to not be as like dry you can see the ends is super dry I actually don't know what to do I I'll obviously continue to do my like routine of putting coconut oil in and all those kind of things but I mean come on that's not nice so I mean I use my conditioner I put like a leave-in conditioner in so I actually don't know I like I said before I know I need to get a trim meaning my ends but I feel like it doesn't feel dry so when I touch it it's like super soft but it looks dry so I don't know if it's just that because I was combing it out now it's just frizzy and maybe it's not that dry necessarily I actually don't know so that's not ideal but yeah I need to figure something out oh, I wanted to give an update on this Wet n Wild for the focus foundation that I bought last week I love this this is really good like it if you're looking for like a dewy foundation this one and also it really is good like throughout the day I just when I have some acne or like any spots which I don't want to have be exposed my Catrice one is better because it has a little bit of more full coverage even though it's also pretty dewy and not super matte and stuff like that so I would then use this one but like yesterday when I was like working from home this one is great if you want to have like something on your face 
so it's not super thick at all and you can like build on it if you want it to be a little bit more like thicker but actually it's pretty nice to just put like one layer on as a like dewy almost like a tinted moisturizer situation it's obviously it's not a tinted moisturizer but it is quite like light so it's a great alternative to a more full coverage one i would say and i mean the price is ridiculous i think i paid 139 rand so that's pretty good anyway i think we need a little bit of concealer because my my eyes we all of a sudden have like literally like winter like yesterday was the first day in the last month or so that it honestly was cold and rainy and just gloomy throughout the day which i love it was such a nice surprise to wake up to like that kind of weather and i can hear outside there's wind oh it's actually quite, quite a lot of wind outside now that i hear that so i think it's a little bit cold outside which gives me an excuse to wear a nice jacket or something. I I love a good jacket, so... Anyway, I'm not even putting blush on. I should have, but I'm not. I'll just bronze my face. I don't feel like doing the whole nine yards, really. Today, I feel a little bit sleepy. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you can see that in my eyes. And I went to bed like around 10. So, I mean, I didn't go to bed at 10. I slept at 10. I went to bed at like 7 because that's what I like to do. I like to go to bed at 7, then I'll either read or be on my phone or watch some TV. And that's kind of what I like to do. But it helps me like wind down and stuff. But I know for a fact I was already asleep around 10 o'clock, which is which is, you know, a normal and a decent amount of hours to sleep. So I can't say like I'm tired, because that's not the right word. I'm just a little bit sleepy still. But I am someone that, when my alarm goes off, I don't snooze it, and I don't like chill and stuff and try to wake up. I kind of like rip myself out of bed and like get going. I have this fear of being late, so, you know, then I... Yeah, so that might be why I look sleepy or I feel sleepy because I actually haven't allowed myself to just like wake up. I think that's kind of the, <laughs> the moral of the story as to why I look sleepy. But I'm sure in an hour or so, and when my coffee is done and it's gone through my veins, <laughs> that I'll feel, I'll feel better and I'll look better. Let's just do something with the hair. I think, I think we might just push it back. There you go. I think that's it. I'm just gonna like throw on a jacket, maybe a pair of sneakers or something, and then that's gonna be my outfit. But I'm gonna finish my coffee and then I just need to pack my work bag. I mean, it's 90% packed, I just actually need to make sure everything is in there, and then we're gonna go. I actually was just looking through my bag and I don't have anything to take to work to eat today for lunch. I mean, I now grab a packet of two minute noodles, but that's like not very exciting. I don't have any fruit anymore. It's Friday. Normally by Friday, the fruit for the week is done. And because we only buy or try to buy groceries once a week, I kind of have to wait like another day or so 
for us to go do our grocery shopping because I don't pace myself when it comes to fruit I love almost any kind of fruit so that's normally the first thing in the week that goes because I eat quite a lot of it anyway so let me show you I've just packed a packet of two-minute noodles and we buy these like Woody's ones let me just see so we buy these this is the stir fry um, the stir fry flavor but we also bought the chicken and herb one which is really good as well but the stir fry one is definitely my favorite so normally they have like a special where you buy five for I don't know how much it was I don't know anyway I don't know the price but anyway whenever they have that I grab five of these packets of two minute noodles and then kind of they are great for like days like today where I don't actually have anything to pack to eat at work then it's nice to just throw that in my bag but I wish I had some fruit or something a little bit more substantial but I have so many meetings today that I doubt that I'm gonna get to have like an long lunch in any way and was probably gonna have to rush making my two minute noodles we have load shedding now so i have the lovely activity awaiting me to walk down the stairs which i dread anyway so normally then i try to leave a little bit earlier because i like don't want to like run down the stairs and then i'm all like sweaty when i get down so then i normally i leave a little bit earlier just to make sure that i am like still on time and stuff but yeah i am gonna hit the road and i will see you after work this afternoon and then we can do some cooking and some self-care even know if you can see me right now but it's like pitch dark and it's raining I don't think it was gonna rain but it's full-blown raining anyway I just got to the office so let me run in it is finally the end of the work day I am back home and it is still cold I left this morning and it was raining which I didn't expect I mean it's nice it's really nice but it was like super cold so I have this very fluffy like jacket on and yeah it's just a day or evening to be inside and cozying up to like some nice food and some nice t tv so the plan is i'm gonna make the mac and cheese now and then we are doing eyebrows i'm gonna tint my eyebrows and i want to what else do I want to do? I want to put some rosemary in my hair. And then I want to also put, what is the stuff? The coconut oil in my hair. Even though I washed my hair last night, I want to put that stuff in. And then tomorrow I'm going to basically walk with it the whole day in my hair. So that's the plan. And then I also want to do a mask for a change. I haven't done a mask in a while. Just like a hydrating one, just I think my skin needs a little bit of hydration. So that is what we're going to do. And then I'm solidly getting into bed and watching some Pretty Little Liars because I am now on season three. So I'm kind of marching through it. And it's weird. There's so many things I don't remember. So there is an element of, you know, feeling like I'm watching it sort of for the first time, even though it's my third or fourth time. I don't know why I still don't remember everything anyway but I do want to take off my nail polish because unfortunately normal nail polish just doesn't last longer than a week with me so yes but let's get cooking
shower. I just don't know how it does. It's very red. It's very red. Anyway, I've decided against putting coconut oil in tonight, just seeing as I have the whole of tomorrow to like walk with it and stuff because I'm only planning on washing my hair tomorrow evening. So because of that, I am going to leave my hair like this tonight and then tomorrow morning I'm just I think going to the gym and then after that I'm planning on staying at home the whole day I just want to have like a relaxed Saturday with like just no plans at all so because of that I yeah I don't want to sleep with it in tonight but tomorrow I'll most probably walk around with it the whole day and then tomorrow evening I'll wash my hair let's turn to these bad boys so I have this little container cup thing then I have the whatever the mix that you use I don't know if this is some sort of I don't know developer and then I use this so I'm using the shade 3 that's kind of, yeah, natural brown is the shade that I'm using. So normally what I do, I just put a little bit of this in there, like that, just like that. And then I always have some left over, and then I kind of just rinse it. And I'll shake this thing, and then in here just kind of ballpark the amount of developer and then what I do is I have these spoolie brushes you can buy like a pack of I don't know five to ten like these things and then as you can see those I bought this I think it whatever does came on clicks then I kind of just in this little thingy I mix this up so that both of the products are like mixed with one another like properly and then I'll show you now how I apply it but it looks very funny like I look like a clown when I have this on even sometimes with this natural brown I feel like it can be too dark and then the lighter one I feel like makes no difference so anyway okay so I have a little bit of this on and then I kind of just, the nice thing about having it on a spoolie brush is you can like brush it in so it doesn't just sit like on top of your brow, you know, so all the hairs get like coated. I need to look at my other mirror because I'm going to mess this up if I'm looking in the camera. So let me just look over here. So that's kind of what it looks like, but then normally I'll also use a like a Q-tip to just kind of clean up because otherwise your like skin gets turned on it, and then it takes a minute to get that off. So I normally just go in and clean up like that, something like that. And then, as I told you, I kind of have some left still, so sometimes I'll just kind of like apply it on top, just feeling like I'm not wasting this product. Even though, I must say though, this lasts me so long, I mean, this bottle is still like at least 70% full and I've had it for so long so even though I have no idea what I paid for this I cannot imagine that I paid a lot for it but the stuff lasts forever and then so does the actual like tint it's 15 milliliters but it lasts like forever so initially you might be like ah oh, it's a little bit expensive but you can like tint your brows like every week for a very long time and 
then these spoolie brushes is, was also very inexpensive. I think it was this game that I bought it on, but I cannot remember. So now I'm just going to wash this out. But hang on, before I do that, I told you that I want to put a mask on. So I'm going to do the Bioderma one. It's like this one. It has a little bit of fragrance in, which is not something I love. But this is a like a soothing, sensitive skin mask. So I kind of feel like it's okay because it doesn't actually irritate my skin. And it's I just feel like it's a nice, like, hydrating one. So what I'm going to do is because I will leave these on kind of for the same time, I'm going to do two birds with one stone and just like apply this. With this colder weather, it just feels like my skin is already feeling dry and we've only had like two days of cold weather. So I'm most probably like just imagining these things in my head, but I like to keep it like nice and moisturized in the evening now i put like quite a thick layer basically almost as thick as this of like cream on especially on my eyes it makes the world's difference so anyway i'm gonna sit for like maybe like five minutes and then i'm gonna take this off but let me just wash these things because this tint like stains Okay, so I'm going to take some micellar water and just like a cotton round to just get the worst of it off and then I'll just, after that, rinse my face. I kind of just rub it like backwards and forwards and up and down, <laughs> left and right, so I can get all the product off. There you go. It looks pretty dark and like the night you do it but then tomorrow morning it already I feel like subsides and obviously then if you like wash your face and stuff it gets lighter until you're back to your normal color so let me just rinse off this mask my skin feels so soft after that mask I like love that mask and it's pretty affordable anyway I'm gonna take this first this is like an anti-redness gel. I love these kind of gels, which is just like a calm, cool gel that you put on, especially if you have like sensitive skin. This is really nice. I even put this on if I went like into the sun and I had like a little bit of a sunburn situation. I think this stuff is really good. We are going in with trusty old CeraVe. This is just a normal moisturizing lotion. There's so many other ones I want to try, but they don't stock it over here. So, also put like quite a lot of cream in my neck just because it's a delicate area. Now we are all done with that. And then, lastly, to lock in that niceness, I put this SBR Repair Cream. I got this at I think clicks, but this is, I initially bought it for my lips because it's fantastic to sleep with this on overnight. It like, I swear it repairs your lips like instant, instantaneously. So that's why I bought it, but I actually like to do this where I apply an extremely thick layer under my eyes and I don't like rub it in. I kind of let it sit there and then it kind of like just penetrates my skin overnight and I do it like up until this point here but I don't take it down low in my face because otherwise I think it will be too intense for the rest of my face just a little bit on my lips as well anyway and I know it looks crazy right now but I promise you it really is a game changer for my under eyes in the morning not that I don't wake up with puffy eyes or you know, like sleepy eyes and stuff, or dark circles, I totally still do. But in terms of my eyes not feeling dry, my under eyes, and the skin feels more plump, I would say is the right word. That is the thing that like 
is a game changer for me. It's like the fine lines under my eyes are visibly less when I put this on in the evening. And again, might be an illusion or maybe it's all in my mind, but as long as it appears to me like it's working and it's doing what I wanted to do, then, you know, that's fine. So I really like that. Again, would not apply that on my, my like full face at all. It's good for hands and it is good for lips and then I like it under my eyes and there's no perfumes in here, which is great. I, haven't even, I didn't even know that, but there actually is no perfumes and there is some ceramides in here and some other stuff that I do not know what this is. But anyway, this stuff is amazing. So if you have very dry lips, especially now us going into winter, that's a really good one to have. And obviously it's not as small as a like a lip lip eye situation. So this you can like keep for pretty much throughout the winter. Anyway, that's it. I am ready for bed. I'm ready to go watch uh, another at least three episodes of Pretty Little Liars and then I can't wait tomorrow to not be rushed and to not have any plans. This is like, it just adds to having a good Friday night, I feel, especially when you do a little bit of self-care to know that tomorrow you can continue your relaxing situation. I didn't take off my nail polish but I will do this tomorrow because it irritates me when my nails watch it like this. And I really like the colour and stuff but it just, normal nail polish doesn't last, but I guess it's still better than like stick on press on nails in the long run. Anyway, thank you for spending Friday with me. It's very wild over here, always on a Friday night, as you know. So thanks for keeping me company. Jason's still not home, so I am <laughs> having the time of my life. Just I just have myself and you as company. Anyway, I will see you in next week's video.